package looks a little damaged, which... Hello viewers, Brad from Ryder Barstool Entertainment doing another video from my kitchen. It is an unboxing video and I did do a stilt man unboxing video a while back link up there and it was kind of interesting I decided to do things a little different with this build a figure it is the Joe fix it build a figure now, I did like this incarnation of the Hulk, and I will give you a little background. Joe Fixit was probably one of the more interesting iterations of Hulk. Peter David created him and his personality. Joe was intelligent, but smaller and gray in appearance. Joe was different from Bruce Banner, and it was, and it was due to a disassociative identity disorder. Peter David had gone back to an old story where Bruce Banner was a victim of abuse and when exposed to the gamma bomb, it split his personality. Hulk being the rage-filled fighter wanting to stop the abuse. Joe Fixit worked as an enforcer and tough guy in Las Vegas and had all the traits Bruce did not have and was unsure about. Joe Fixit's first appearance was Incredible Hulk 347. The whole storyline was fun and interesting and happened during a time in Marvel history when many writers were taking different spins on characters. Wolverine was going by the name Patch, Joe Fixit was the Hulk, etc. Okay, now we're getting to the unboxing here. Uh, package looks a little damaged, which I, I'm fine with that because, let's face it, as long as the figures are in good shape, Big Bad Toy Store usually does a very good job of packing, so... I'm not too worried. Okay, as always, beautifully packaged by Big Bad Toy Store. I recommend if you're a figure collector, go to them. I've recently just gotten back involved in figures because they have some interesting build of figures, so we'll see. Uh, the first figure is Jocasta. And if you're familiar with her history, she was built by Ultron and to be kind of his bride, and then well, they had a falling out, and she became a hero. And she contains the torso of the Hulk. Joe fix it. So this is going to be a good starting point. The next figure is Captain America in his stealth costume, which, you know, I mean... He's had various types of costumes. I think they're going more toward the way he was portrayed in the movie costume. He has an arm of Joe Fixit, which is, again, something to move forward with. And interesting enough, Thunderstrike. Thunderstrike was a guy by the name of Kevin Masterson, and he became Thor for a while, and this is back in the, God, same time as Joe Fixit in a sense, like Wolverine became Patch, etc. Well, he has uh, the head of Joe Fixit. 
The next character is Falcon. And this is the kind of classic Falcon. And he contains... Hmm. A leg. You can't see the leg, but there's a leg there. Iron Man. The atmosphere armor. This is like the space armor. And it's kind of cool. Contains an arm of Joe Fixit. And it's kind of another place to build onto the torso, I guess. And finally, there is Kang. And we all know about Kang, the time guy who menaces the Avengers. He has a leg. So I can complete the Joe Fixit uh, thing. And what's interesting is there's two different packages here. There's the regular Legends package and the Gamerverse package. So these Legends are from actual Marvel Comics. These Gamerverse packages mean that these are characters that are or figures based on character interpretations in the game or video games. And of course, the Big Bad Toy Store card, um, I'll leave a link to them in the description below as well. And you can get a lot of neat toys there if you like toys. So, Let's get on with the building. I'm going to unpackage the figures, set them up, and then go from there. Okay, start with, I took out the Joe Casta figure and the torso. Torso is a great place to start when you build a build a figure. I'm going to cut to the final overall figures after I build the figure and make this video a little shorter than what it normally is. All right, viewers, I've taken all the figures out, I've assembled all the pieces, got Joe Fix-It here, have the Falcon, Kang, Captain America, Iron Man, Jocasta, and Thunderstrike. Now, I'm gonna give you a little hint here, folks. When you're taking out figures, Take them out over a table. Make sure you get all the little tiny parts. And if you don't want to lose those little tiny parts, Ziploc bag. All the hands, extra heads, and other things that could just suddenly be thrown away by accident or tossed by accident or just disappear by accident, zip them up in a Ziploc bag and they'll be kept to the side you won't lose the entire bag now overall these figures are really great the falcon here has the wings actually are split into two pieces and they fall out pretty easy so you can move his arms and again very nice figures overall um to be honest with you, I'm probably going to sell the figures. Um, I might keep Kang. He is one of my more favorite type characters. But the Captain America, Iron Man figure, even though he looks really cool, will probably go up. Same with uh, Falcon again. They'll probably go up on an eBay auction. Joe Fixit is going to go into my display cabinet. He is really a nice figure overall. I mean, surprisingly, the joints are really sweet and work well. The assembly was really easy, not guaranteed for all figures. The head fit on well. That's usually the one I have to heat in boiling water and pop on. But it went really well. 
I will probably keep the Jocasta figure as well because, again, I like her. I like the oddball characters. And then Thunderstrike, yeah, he's probably going to go up on the eBay auction. And I do have auctions, not frequently, so I can't tell you for sure when I'm going to put them up. But I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, and stay tuned for the edited in announcements and extras. If you want to move on, thanks for stopping by. I uh, thank you if you're staying around. Uh, the unboxing, building of the figure, etc. took a little time. I did some editing. Now what I want to add in with these is some stuff I bought on eBay um, and on a website because I'm kind of putting together a display cabinet and I really wanted some of things to put into it that I really enjoyed in the past. One of them I did on eBay is Amazing Spider-Man number 100. Yes, it is a 7.5 grade, but it is a good entry-level comic. It's a good display comic. I had one of these back years and years ago, maybe even decades ago, not as in good a condition as this. This will go into the display cabinet with probably the Joe Fixit figure. Once I get everything together, I'm waiting on a CGC box I sent, and once that comes in, I'll do an unboxing of that. The next thing I bought and came in was this display stand. Yes, it says Legion of Superheroes on it, and it's got the nice emblems on the side here, and it was done by Red Wolf Collectibles. Um, I will leave a link to their SD site down below, and it's a beautiful custom comic book holder for graded comics, and it comes with these two spacers, if you can see them, they're clear, and yes, it says Legion of Superhero because, or Superheroes, because one of the comics in my CGC box is a Legion comic, which I want to display. And hopefully it's going to be a very high grade because human hands have not touched this comic. So that is for those extra things. Now, the changes on the website or my YouTube channel that are coming up. Um, I'm going to change how I do my entries and my endings. The entry, I'm going to stick with only one type of entry and one type of ending, and then it'll be a little more cohesive. And hopefully with this video, you're actually seeing that change happen. The other videos are longer. I do those months and months in advance for the video game videos. And in order for that change to, I guess, matriculate in, you'll eventually see it. If you like this video, hit the like button, even comment on it. I would love to read your comments. I thank you for subscribing. I'm trying to get to 100 right now. I'm almost halfway there. Um, if you like this type of video, I post them intermittently. So, I mean, if you like video game videos as well, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and you will be notified when I post videos. I do post videos four times a week, plus these special unboxing videos from time to time. Well, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, coming to you from my kitchen. As always, thanks for stopping by.